thank you bharat bhai thank you without wasting time we start our my, i will start presentation my topic of discussion can we justify once a day daglyptin 100 mg because for daglyptin was available is available since 2008 but once a daily preparations we are getting since last one year only so what what makes them to uh, think or once a day daglyptin this is actually a original study this is actually a, a original study which was sponsored by novartis who were the innovator of vildagliptin and which, which was published in december 2006 only where they have used 50 mg once a daily 50 mg twice a daily immediate release as well as 100 mg once a daily vildagliptin it was also immediate release vildagliptin and what they have found that the effectiveness of 50 mg twice a daily immediate release or 100 mg immediate release once a daily was practically similar without any much difference between adverse event so efficacy wise in 2006 or 2007 they know vildagliptin can be used as a once a daily or twice a daily but they do not bring the preparation of vildagliptin but since last 2 years 2000 uh, 2021 vildagliptin was made available as a once a daily sustained release preparation in india by dcgi and this is the the sanction letter of vildagliptin once a daily 100 mg dc so what are the advantage of 100 mg once a daily sustained release first of all it is once a daily preparation it has a similar pkpd characteristic of instead of giving twice a daily 50 mg 100 mg gives equally good results and important thing is compliance because many diabetic patients are receiving multiple medications so that's why the compliance is very important here so we will discuss what here is the need of time 100 mg once a day is a need of our time and what are the challenges of adherence with multiple treatments multiple medication then the pkpd properties of 100 mg sustained release vildagliptin then the clinically significant dpp inhibition with vildagliptin 100 mg sustained sustained release preparation and we will conclude something so vildagliptin 100 mg is a need of our because even though it was available in india since january 2008 it is only gliptins which is available in twice a daily rest of all the gliptins hexagliptin linagliptin or uh, uh, citagliptin which is available in once a daily only vildagliptin is available was available in twice a daily format and a big problem twice a daily means a convenience problem so the adherence was little bit different difficult with uh, 50 mg twice a daily and many patient if even though you are prescribing twice a daily because of cost constraint they were taking once a daily so that was a big disadvantage of uh, vildagliptin so to reduce the dosing frequency a once a daily sustained release preparation of 100 mg was needed and the important thing is it's not just that much but it should be uh, the pkpd as well as the quality wise it should have a tough dpp inhibition that was needed actually so and uh, another important thing in uh, from uh, in marketing point of view that the newer grip combination which was uh, discussed by mithal sir that is sglt2 inhibitor dpp4 inhibitor as well as metformin combination so it is actually a future oed so that is also a big market for most of our pharma company so that's why it was a need of time there are certain challenges of adherence so once a daily preparation twice a daily thrice a daily and four times a daily so what they found that whenever the patients are receiving more more medication then the the quality as well as the uh, chances of adherence are low so uh, if patient is taking once a daily medication then the, almost the adherence level is almost 80% twice a daily then it becomes 65 and thrice a daily then it reduces to just 38% so that's why once a daily preparation has its own advantage and what important property we should look at when we prescribe once a daily preparation from twice a daily that is pharmacokinetics properties like area under curve to specific time period zero to some specific time period as well as area under curve and secondary parameter like tmax tmax the half life then kkl etc as well as the pharmacodynamics property like percent inhibition of dpp4 at of test product versus the uh, reference product for throughout 24 hours as well as the 24 hour average dpp4 inhibitions those are the very very important thing when we uh, uh, these are to be considered 
while uh, manufacturing this uh, once a daily vildagliptin. So if you look at the comparison of once a daily vildagliptin 100 mg sustained release versus the reference vildagliptin 50 mg twice a daily, then almost 95% confidence interval of the differences of least square LSM, that is least square means, are uh, they matching. The PK parameters of T half as well as the uh, area under curve of 0 to t as well as 0 to infinity of vildagliptin is within the bioequivalence acceptance of almost 80 to 125. That is the uh, pharmacological terms that acceptance should be there with reference product as well as test product. So that was acceptable. That's why they developed. The pharmacodynamic properties are very important for us. It, the, it means that whenever the, ma the matching product, when, when the company has to launch that matching product, it should be uh, it, between uh, 90 to 120 percent matching. The mean plasma difference in DPP4 inhibitor of vildagliptin was almost 91 percent and 95 percent on day one as well as day six. So that was studied and that was found to be effective. And these are certain statistics. So this is the very important time. What is the what we called as a trough DPP inhibition on the clinically significant DPP inhibition, which was supposed to be more than 80 percent. So uh, the original molecule that is Galvas 50 milligram twice a dose use almost 86.79 percent DPP inhibition for almost 24 hours, whereas the vildagliptin sustained release preparation, which are now available in market, use 85.28 percent DPP inhibition over 20, 24 hours. So if, if you prescribe vildagliptin 50 milligram twice a day or 100 milligram once a day sustained release. You are getting a good DPP or clinically significant DPP inhibition. This is another study which clearly shows that even on day one as well as on day six, you give 50 milligram twice a day or 100 milligram modified release of sustained release once a day. It practically gives rough DPP inhibition of more than 80 percent over a period of 24 hours. So, and these are the certain bioequivalent studies which are mandatory by government of India. Vildagliptin 100 milligram once a daily is equivalent to bioequivalent to the reference drug that is 50 milligram twice a daily. And the pharmacodynamic property that is DPP4 inhibition are very important for us of 100 milligram sustained release as well as 50 milligram twice a daily was found to be more than 80 percent over a period of 24 hours. So that and these are the other uh, DPP-4 inhibitor like citagliptin, which is practically gives more than 80% DPP-4 inhibition over a period of 24 hour. Vildagliptin, whether just single tablet of Vildagliptin 50 milligram gives less than 40% DPP-4 inhibition for 24 hour. Whereas two tablets that were mentioned over there, it gives almost 80% DPP-4 inhibition for 24 hours. Sexagliptin almost 70% for over 24 hours. Then linagliptin more than 80% for 24 hours. And this once a daily new formulation practically gives more than 80% DPP-4 inhibition for over a period of 24 hours. So pharmacodynamic property of newer sustained release preparation is matching with more compliance. And if you look at the adverse effect profile, it was practically there was no adverse serious adverse effect were reported while using 100 milligrams once a daily. There are subtle adverse effect like headache, pain in abdomen, giddiness, then high total bilirubin level, which was not significant, and all adverse effects were the mild in nature. So that's why the permission was given to launch 100 milligram sustained release. And to conclude our discussion here, at the equivalent total daily dose, that is 50 milligram twice day, a sustained release formulation of 100 milligram vildagliptin provide comparable and trough DPP-4 inhibition of more than 84, 80 percent over a period of time. It is very convenient, conventional, uh, it is very better for our patient to uh, give one tablet instead of twice a daily. Despite the differences in pharmacokinetic, the therapeutic peak pharmacodynamics levels are same, so it gives almost more than 80% inhibition, DPP-4 inhibition over a period of 24 hours. That is the most important thing. And uh, this sustained release preparation will give a more compliance to our patient because once a daily is always beneficial and important thing the new potential combination like vildagliptin 100 milligram plus dapagliflozin plus vildagliptin dapagliflozin metformin combination that can be possible because this medication is now available at 
100 mg sustained release. If it has been given twice a daily, then it was not uh, practically possible to launch such uh, one of the best combination in a single pill. So that are where the certain advantage of once a daily preparation. So thank you.